What's going on to all of you Aquarius? So you Aquarius have the Six of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Justice, mm, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the World, mm, Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. I love this deck. Oh my gosh. This is... I, anyway, y'all want to be real fans of mine? Go get this deck. Mermaid Tarot. This, uh, anyway, the Six of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Eight of, of Cups represents how a lot of you Aquarius, Six of Cups, y'all already know what time it is. Someone is going to try to come back, trying to talk to you seeing what's going on, all this type of stuff, right? Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Cups. And a lot of you, uh, a lot of you Aquarius are going to be like, nah. Um, they left you at a time where you, you know, they, the two of you ended up breaking up where you and this person, they left you and they didn't care about your well-being. They left you or the two of y'all ended up breaking up. Whether they left you, you left them. The two of y'all ended up splitting up at a time where a lot of you Aquarius were not at a very good position in your lives. So as a result, a lot of you Aquarius, obviously, a lot of y'all picked up the pieces doing what it is that y'all doing. Maybe this person found you at a time where you weren't really doing so well. And, you know, the relationship ran its course because if this person was still being decent and still trying to strive for better, a lot of you Aquarius more than likely would have still been there. Because let's not forget, Aquarius is ruled by Saturn and Saturn is the planet of, of, of the hard worker, right? So specifically lab uh, 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 labor. So um, along with Mercury, but that's, that's neither here nor there. The point is, <laughs> the point is, is that so a lot of you Aquarius took that and a lot of you was like, okay, I'm, I'm picking up the pieces and a lot of you Aquarius have picked up the pieces. But see, the situation now is that even though that's the case, a lot of, even though that's the case, a lot of you Aquarius really happen to be in a particular position where um, a lot of you really want, a lot of you are really in a position where the Ace of Cups, the Justice, here they come with they goofy behinds trying to talk about how they love you and all this other stuff. And you Aquarius are like, why are you going to, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all are looking at them like they're suspect. Like you coming, like why are you coming back here after I picked up the pieces? We ended up splitting up when I wasn't really at my best. Or you may have found me when I was at my worst. Well, or or, at, or wasn't at my best, but the the relationship, the nature of the relationship, ran its course. So why are you here? Because I, because on some real stuff, I know a lot of Aquarius people be going through some breakups, and part of the reason why is because Aquarius. See, here's the thing: Aquarius is y'all are one of those zodiac signs where y'all y'all gotta, like I said before, y'all gotta watch y'all influences. Because air signs are zodiac signs. Air signs are, are capable. Listen closely. Air signs are capable of great but terrible things. And the reason why, I'm not saying that y'all would, that's, I, see, I'm not saying that y'all are doing that. I'm not saying that. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying that the air signs are capable of great but terrible things. And the reason why is because that y'all represent the element of air. So y'all are naturally amoral, meaning y'all do not have a moralistic compass. The Wheel of Fortune. Y'all get one over time. But there are two modalities when it comes to being an upright individual, you can either, lips chat, but you can either be an individual that is, is depending on an, or, uh, uh, depending on a book to help you out, not disrespecting anybody that is, I don't care. I'm not into the politics, don't care. 
or you can be a more uh, excuse me a moralistic like i am because i do have a saturn and aquarius in my 11th house but i still have a level of guidance so even though it's not a book I still have a level of guidance because I'm just a decent individual all around and I'm not really striving to be, you know, getting my gains ill begotten. So the situation with a lot of you Aquarius is, is that a lot of you Aquarius need to understand that with these people, right? Don't make small talk with these people. Just observe it for what it is. They're coming back, tail tucked in between their legs, trying to do everything that they can to get your attention and they will not leave you alone. Even though you Aquarius are not talking to them, I know a lot of y'all ain't saying stuff, they're trying to find any old reason to come on around. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on with you? Blah, 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 all that other type of nonsense. So what you Aquarius want to do is first and foremost, you really want to set that boundary within yourself. If you know for real, for real, you don't want them back. That's the first step. Let's continue forward. Then you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. This is a person that's trying now, these people that represents the Six of Cups, them trying to come back in. These are people now that represents, these are individuals that are trying to now talk to you about when the two of you are going to hang out again when the two of you are going to going to uh go out on a date they'll they'll potentially they'll even tell you that they're even willing to pay for the dates these are the type of things that a lot of your queries need to look out for <clears throat> if you ask me do not fall for the freaking okie doke do not fall for the okie doke what i mean when i say the okie doke the idea of them saying well you know we'll go out on better dates and all of this if you know, if you come back, yeah, they're going to go out with you on better dates. But for how long? For how long? Especially if they had the capability to leave you in the first place when, you know, you weren't necessarily doing too good. And it's because of the fact that you, Aquarius, was having difficulties in another area of your life, right? Is the reason why it is that they, that they um, left you by yourself because let's face it a lot of people out here it takes a real it listen to me it takes a person who really likes you to continue to be in a relationship with you especially when times get difficult and you give back and they give back to you real relationship right there you know what breaks up a real relationship that strong bond is when one or both parties break that trust with each other or one of them breaks trust with the other person based upon their inability to actually maintain and grow that trust so they broke that that trust contract with y'all when they decided to leave you because y'all was having difficulties in, in another area maybe you a lot of you Aquarius was focused on that particular situation so a lot of you Aquarius need to understand that don't trip these people who are coming in into your lives I should say coming back into your lives talking about we'll go out on better quality dates if if you decide to hang out with me those people are uh, these people are obviously grasping at straws because they so desperately want y'all back it's up to you, Aquarius, now to keep y'all um, decency and not allow them to come back in. Then you have the world. And the world represents, again, y'all are, um, what are y'all supposed to do? Y'all are supposed to do yourselves a favor and continue to go try to talk to other people and get to know other people. Don't allow yourself to be so caught up with the, with the, 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 the almost like bribery them like hey you know we'll go out on on better dates if you decide to come back okay great better dates and them spending their money will make up for all the things that you know the fact that they they left you when you aquarius were at your worst they left you when you aquarius you know had difficulties 
because of the fact that you Aquarius had difficulties. That's a dub. That's a dub. The Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So what does this mean? You Aquarius have to learn. Same thing as it means for the Pisces video. You Aquarius have to learn to have, you, you Aquarius need to have a lot more experience. I've been talking to a lot of y'all and a lot of the people who come to me do not have a lot of relationship experience. And it's cool. It's why I exist, right? If y'all had all this relationship experience, I literally, that's not necessarily true. I, I'd just be telling y'all the future. But point is, is that I help y'all with the things that you do not see, the things that you do not understand. That's what, that's the value that, that's one of the things that I bring to the table. That's one of my values that I contribute to y'all. And y'all contribute getting tarot rings from me, spending your money, and I greatly appreciate it. I'm still building the channel up. I'm, I'm not BSing about that. I'm almost, I'm actually halfway done with the third book talking about relationships. I'm halfway done. So, and I'm on like page 50 something. So I'm halfway done. I told y'all, this is going to be a masterpiece. Y'all are going to like this. But the point is, for you Aquarius, y'all have to gain a lot more experience. And what I mean by that is, again, the world. You owe yourself the experience to know how to fail in a relationship and how to win in a relationship. The only, one of the only, listen, the only way that I became so knowledgeable and wise and understanding when it came to relationships is and what I should do. I actually figured these things out before I heard people like Jordan Peterson actually speak about these things. You understand? I did not learn, I did not, listen, in 2013, there was no such thing as, as Jordan Peterson as far as being famous. I had to literally figure it out through trial and error. Trial and error was the name of the game for me. I literally didn't have so many people to talk to. I've had some, I've had people who was in the game, if you catch my drift, but I really only was trying to soak up game through osmosis. Anyway, y'all already know the story. I literally told it to y'all on the live stream. The point is, is that you want to gain as much understanding as possible. You will gain so much understanding as to what to do and what not to do. When you go out there, you get to know other people, you experience, you fail, you realize the things that you should have done. You do those things with those particular people. And with, like I said, with a big enough crowd, meaning a big enough group of people that you've dated, you find what people like. With me, people like intelligence. This is the reason why, as I say, all of the people that I dated like intelligence. Now, some of them may be, a, some of them may be quiet. Some of them may be a little bit more loud about it and speak it. But all of them like intelligence, without exception. I've never met a person that didn't want me to be smart. Now, of course, did they play games? Oh, absolutely. But I learned from each and every encounter, and that's. One of the things that you owe it to yourself. This is why it is that you got the world card. You're thinking you may be in, a, in, in an instance where you're thinking a little bit too small. Some of you. And a lot of you Aquarius need to... Hold on. Go ahead. A lot of you Aquarius need to start thinking big. Go out there. Experiment. Have fun when you date. A lot of people call me through these readings, and I am available to do personal readings, but a lot of people call me and they talk about how it is that they don't have fun. Go out there, have fun, relax, enjoy yourself. Meet people, really enjoy yourself. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles now represents and make common sense, proper adjustments to be able to help figure your way through. A lot of times people... People are so set on biblical, or when I say biblical, I mean book knowledge, right? Biblio, book. Um, they're so set on book knowledge to the point where they don't even understand that there's two forms of knowledge. You, you, a lot of you Aquarius probably aware of this. It's street smarts, which is the things that you actually learn on hand. 
and it's book smarts, something that has been documented, tried, tr tested, true. We do it repetitively. It has its results. Most of the times it works. Sometimes it just doesn't particularly work. But a lot of times where real intelligence is, part of it is understanding the differences or the times when it's a good thing for you to break the rules. Understand when it's a good idea for you to approach people. Obviously, don't approach people talking about how they stink and how they're ugly and how they're physically unattractive to you. More than likely, that's not going to work. 99% of the time, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So what do you do? So use the book smarts. Give them a compliment. Hey, I like your shoes. Hey, I like your hair. Hey, I like the the uh your 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 fingernails. I you know fingernail polish. I think it look great on you. Hey, I like your whole getup. It's nice. Then they're gonna appreciate that because who doesn't want to be complimented? Then as soon as you, as soon as you go ahead and 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 you you they say thank you and stuff like this, you can say hey how you doing? You understand what I'm saying? Go out there, like I said, go out there and experiment. Stop being so scared. So. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles now. And then get out of here. High Priestess, Ace of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, right. The High Priestess and the Ace of Swords, don't worry about the people that you won't ever see again. You don't have to see these people again. Remember, have fun. You don't have to see these people ever again. If if the things if things between you and them don't work. There's some people who I spoke to in my neighborhood. I don't actually I see them, but I don't actually talk to them. And that's okay. I'm not gonna be mad. Oh you know, you know, uh, look at this Aries and you know, you know, look at this look at this Aquarius, look at this cancer crab. Uh, so the thing is that the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands now represents learn to also just be honest with what you want and go after what you want. As simple as that. It you know, you know, we gotta get to a point where where this is why it is I say that a lot of y'all should should, I'm not saying you have to, but you should stop listening to these dating coaches because they're trying to get you to feel bad about yourself by telling you that you will only, it, things will only work if you do this, not even realizing that the information that they're giving you is terrible and I can show and prove that. But that's neither here nor there. We're gonna leave it here. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. We have 6,400 subscribers, 6,470 subscribers. Smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all.